Hello commanders and welcome to the Pakistani Empire series today in episode 5 with the invasion of Iran. Just a small recap that we started a huge war versus the Middle Eastern coalition composed of Syria, Saudi Arabia and um, Iran. Of course the first one was Syria in our confrontation when we were taking Afghanistan he stole the city from us and after that we went straight on the offensive. Later on, Saudi Arabia has made few attempts because we had right of way. He flown towards my capital, but I saw him. So I started killing his infantry, national guards while they are in air. All of my air security fighters have been working so hard to kill all of those Saudi Arabian infantry. After that, I started an invasion on Iran because it is the gateway towards the Middle Eastern coalition. I cannot go by uh, sea. I do not want that, especially that Saudi Arabia has a level 2 naval base. So to play it safely, I had to go through Iran. Look at this. This is um, Australia. I told him I will help you kill the Middle East. He told me in Arabic, shut up. <laughs> I said, ha 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 ha, WTF. And I wrote in Arabic why I shut up, ha ha ha, it was so weird, actually, <laughs> it was out of nowhere, Australia just telling me, shut up, <laughs> that was so weird, I was helping him, that's, okay, so um, our invasion on Iran is underway with airstrikes from our elite attack aircrafts, and from lands with our National Guards going straight to the Iranian homeland cities like worms from all the sides. Something actually weird here that Saudi Arabia has right of way with China. Okay, I'm gonna translate. I said why I have to shut up. He said because you have to. What do you want? He told me because you have to. And what do you want? Whoa, I have never ever seen someone so arrogant like this. So, let's say toxic, maybe? No, arrogant. Arrogant is better. You see here that uh, Saudi Arabia is using a Chinese airfield very, very close to my homeland cities. Why first? first the first question here. Why China is building an airfield in that region? Especially that he is allies with India, so he does not need that airfield if he is going to attack India. That's 100% is built for me, so they can invade me, so they can kill me. Well, this is a very important detail that I need to um, consider. Of course, I started now the level 2 army base in the city of Peshawar. I'm going to upgrade later to level 3 army base in order to make the mobile some lunches. The capital is empty now, we reached the city of Rast, now Tehran is going to fall soon. Okay, I lost a national guard here in the center of this province. I, don't, I did not see any kind of, uh, of units there before I send my infantry, so yeah. From the notification we know that there is a presence of the Iranian national guards in that province. Now I'm going here around the city of Isfahan to take um, the surrounding provinces and of course go to the capital of Iran. The Iranian invasion is exactly what we call and what we consider a clean invasion. Like it was so fast, we did not take too much time, it's only one in game day until we killed, uh, we took down all of his home and cities. That's the advantage of having elite attack aircrafts or strike fighters because they have the same utility, the same goals, the same characteristics. Just only that the elite attack aircraft has better damage versus land targets, but still you cannot do more than 5 units in level 1. But with strike fighters you can do a lot of uh, strike fighters, you do not have a limited number. I'm trying to spam as much National Guards as possible because I need some land reserves especially that my homeland cities they are unprotected and they have a lot of dangers around me now I am in position 6 I'm behind Chad, Brazil, Italy, China and Russia 
Yeah, that's a very tough coalition there, boys, I know. I'm gonna kill this one uh, National Guard before it reaches that airfield there. My coastal cities being built arms industry. This is the United Kingdom is inviting me to his coalition. Well, so far I'm aiming to stay solo. Seriously, I do not like um, to be in a coalition. I'd like to survive in solo because being solo in a, a apocalypse game is challenging. Actually, it's very challenging, and um, I. I enjoy it. I cannot deny that, but I enjoy suffering in a 4-speed apocalypse map in solo. It's a good suffering. Okay, so let's kill this national god. Come on, it's about time. Next one. Ah, there is another one coming from the south. <laughs> I have a better KD statistics because of Saudi Arabia. He gave me a lot, a lot of free kills, a lot of sheep kills. I love Saudi Arabia. I'm making this video too late today. I really feel so tired after a long day at work. So yeah, you can feel from my voice that I'm a little bit tired and sleepy. After this video, I finish it. I'm going directly to sleep, guys. But I'm really doing a lot of efforts to... Um, um, Commit with the daily uploads in this uh, series with Pakistan and I hope you guys you are having fun enjoying the solo series with Pakistan also and enjoying this uh, <laughs> This weird conversations. Okay, so I told I told uh, Australia. Oh, thank you for the beautiful manners. He said my manners are better than yours. Oh No, I lost my city of Peshawar and Saudi Arabia is attempting a land disembarking on my coastal cities there in Harashi. When I was offline, Saudi Arabia has managed to take my home and city of Peshawar. I did not keep defenses there because um, I did not have enough personnel to keep it in that city. So Saudi Arabia has managed to land in one in that airfield, in that Chinese airfield. And get to my city after that of course he went to my capital but I had defenses in my capital so he lost his national guards well I will have to rebuild that army base level 3 after all and there is here a recon division in a random province near the city of Bandar Abbas luckily I saw it or I will lose my two national guards there that's the bad thing about Sometimes some players they leave units inside provinces. You cannot detect them. You cannot see them And in that case we will lose a lot of units because of course you are going to send your national guards into different directions to claim lands and especially provinces and you do not expect to find uh, Defenses or units in some random provinces after all that's why sometimes it's actually annoying that players keep units inside their central provinces and we keep on losing national guards and infantry, etc. Okay, so we are finalizing the last steps of this invasion. It's about time actually to finish this invasion on Iran and move to the next target. Of course, the next target is going to be Iraq after Syria, after Saudi Arabia, and we conquer all of the Middle East. But here I'm a little bit anxious, guys. I do not know the intentions of China. At least I know that India is trustworthy, maybe, we have right of way, but China, I do not know. I do not know what he might do. Well, we are at the end of today's episode, boys. Let's meet in episode 6 and find out what is going to happen. See you guys and bye-bye.